This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out their Kickstarter coming soon for Time of Legends Destinies. Welcome to the Paper House Studio <laughs> 3, Kevin. I am here at Studio 3, and Will is here with me. We are going to talk about board games launching on Kickstarter the first half of September 2019. Thanks and so much for letting me join you. Yes. Uh, I'm excited to see that we're giving away a Zombicide yes. figurine. So the last video, uh, we went through all the different commenters, and the person who won this copy of Willow, which is a promo for a Zombicide, is Gabe Amodio, which is A-M-O-D-E-O. -E I'll contact you, get me your information, we'll get you this Congratulations. copy of... Do we have uh, another giveaway? We do! What else are we giving away we this time? We have a copy of Bubble Tea Ooh. from Renegade Tasty. Games. And um, it actually has this cool promo pack, Blueberry Enigma. Blueberry? <laughs> anyway, check back at the end of this video and we will tell you how you can enter for a chance to win this copy of Bubble Tea. Are we ready to look at some Kickstarters? Let's do it. On September 2nd, we'll see Elder Shadows from Pawn Joker Games. It's a two-player game with the Cultists and the Investigators. Also, on September 2nd, we'll see a game from Game Brewer, the Gugan Expansion, which will bring four expansions, the Whims of the Emperor, the Farmer's Revolt, the Palace Stairs, and some extra decrees. These next few launch on September 3rd. Moonrakers is a game for one to five players that has deck building and negotiation, that takes about one to two hours to play. It's a game of shipbuilding, temporary alliances, and shrewd negotiation in a spacefaring future. Players will be upgrading their ships, hiring crew members, and trying to avoid contracts. The person with the most points wins the game. Solar Storm from Dronda Games is a cooperative game for one to four players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. In Game of Phones, which is a card game, that gets people responding to fun and unique challenges using their smartphones. There's an expansion to Donning the Purple from Toppet Games that's called Votes and Virtue. And this will bring a new role, a fourth player that starts the game as the general, a senate phase, an extra player mat, and lots of new cards. In early September, from Ghost Cat Games, we'll see Sharks Feeding Frenzy. Eat seafood and tourists as you battle other sharks to be king of the beach. Along the way, you'll grab power-ups, play traps, and build archipelagos, seafood, eat food, and beat friends. September 5th, Colossal Games launches Omen Heir to the Dunes. This is a standalone expansion in the latest chapter in the Omen saga. It's a head-to-head -head strategy card game set in the burning sands of ancient Egypt. It's the single largest expansion since Omen Reign of War. On September 7th, Holy Grail Games launches Titan, a game for two to four players. It takes about one to two hours to play. It's a network construction game set in the distant future where players play as employees of Star Drill, an interstellar mining corporation. And it's acquired the mining rights to Saturn's largest moon, Titan, and it's sending in a team to strip it of its resources. On September 8th, Auroplex Studios will be launching Aspirations of Chaos. This is a competitive card game where you play as a champion who seeks to defeat an EFO. These next few launch on September 9th. Into the Unknown launches Aeon's Trespass Odyssey. It's a one to four player campaign game about adventures, exploration, and fierce battles with giant monsters. It's a cooperative, choice-driven board game experience played over multiple sessions. Royal End Games launches Lots, a game for one to four players. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. It's a three-dimensional puzzle game where contractors are competitively working to build the same tower on a vacant lot. Players will have to use spatial recognition, color coordination, and just a hint of dexterity to score the most points before the game ends. Mint Cooperative from 524 Labs, designed by Jonathan Gilmore and Brian Lewis, work to deliver Mintopia City and other towns of Mortimer County from Paradontal Peril that is the dominion of Halitosis. Inside Up Games launches The Quick and the Undead, a game for 2-6 to six players. It takes about 45-60 to 60 minutes, set in the Wild West. Board and Dice will launch Yeddo, a deluxe master set that will bring a bigger box, borderless cards, custom wooden screen printed disciples, the classic Yeddo board, new double-layered clan boards, and all the game components. 
These next few launch on September 10th, Philosophia is an epic odyssey adventure game for 1-6 to six players. Jacques Bro brings Nouvelle France, a game for 2-4 to four players, it takes about 45-60 to 60 minutes to play. It's a strategy game where you need to skillfully place construction blocks to build three historic sites from the Nouvelle France era, outwit your opponents to gain points. Also, watch out for the snow that comes each round. Purple Wizard launches Ultimate Rush, a game for 2 to 6 players, it takes about 10 to 40 minutes to play. Players create coins and attack points in real time, and then attempt to grab a turn order token before they're gone. You can buy energy, power-ups, and upgrades in the market. And then battle insane monsters to help save the kingdom. Genius Games launches Genotype, a Mendelian genetics game, for 2 to 5 players, it takes about 20 to 40 minutes to play. You play as Mendel's assistants competing to collect experimental data on pea plants by trying to control how the plants inherit key traits from their parents. Fight in a Box launches Hedgehog Hop, a game for 2-6 to six players, it takes about 12-18 to 18 minutes to play. Your rival hedgehog dance crew that vies for supremacy in the grand finale. Despite their enthusiasm, hedgehogs are clumsy dancers and spend a lot of time bumping into one another. Help them get their act together and make friends. The player who scores the most points is the grand finale winner. Sky Kingdom Games launches the Isofarian Guard, a game for one to two players. In this game, you'll travel throughout the cities and wildernesses of Isofair. It's a beautifully illustrated world. Fight off enemies using a unique and highly customizable battle system and use your wits to talk your way out of sticky situations. As you forge important alliances, opportunities will arise for you to craft stronger gear, gain new powers, and step into the destiny you were called to. These next few launch mid-September. Tetrahedon Games launches a Valhall. It's a board game for up to four players. Each player takes part as a Jarl in charge of his own Viking settlement on the fictional island of Fornheim. 25th Century launches Winner Winner Chicken Dinner, a game for two to four players. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play. Players take on the role of foxes, trying to steal as many chickens as they can from the hen house, then cook them up into delicious fried chicken dinner. Panasaurus will launch Godspeed. This is a game for two to five players. It takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. All we know is that the space race was a lie. A few more that will launch in September. I'm just not exactly sure when. Seventh Cross. Roman Roll. Deadly Doodle 2. And an Edge of Darkness reprint with an expansion. So from the list of videos that we just talked about, we have a few that we will be doing videos for at Tantrum House. We have Moonrakers that Sarah and I are doing a preview for. Sharks of Feeding Frenzy, I think we're doing one for. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, I think Katie and Ryan are doing Donning the Purple, the expansion for that. Ooh, is Novell France finally coming to Kickstarter? It is, finally, right? It's we did a cool video. Check it out. And? Genotype, ooh, yes, very cool. Yes, with Genius Games. Ultimate Rush, you guys did a video for that too, Yep, right? yep, that one's in the queue. I am doing a video for Isofarian Guard. I think Hedgehog Hop, we've got one on. Yep, and Ryan and Katie are also doing a Val Hall. And maybe a few more that um, are on this list we'll get to do some videos for as well. But definitely those, check those out on our page, on our YouTube channel. So, what are we doing? How do you enter for a chance to win bubble tea? What sounds good? Uh, I think you should let us know what your favorite flavor of bubble tea is. What if they don't like bubble tea though? Go try one out and just tell us which <laughs> one you tried out, and then tell them that Tantrum House sent you, and they'll be like, "What? What? Where's Tantrum House?" <laughs> um, or you can just tell us what your favorite drink is in the comments, or any of the games that you liked from the list that we just talked about. Tell us about what you're excited about coming to Kickstarter. Thanks for joining us. Any other final comments before we say goodbye? Good luck backing just the right game that's right for you. Hopefully we gave you a heads up on what you should be looking for. And maybe Will will join us for another video in the future. I we'll like see. it. We'll see how it goes. See you guys. Bye. This episode is sponsored in part by Colossal Games. Check out their Kickstarter Omen Heir to the Dunes coming September 5th.